Wow. That was a weird show. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back. I'm your one, the only. I am Hobo Tom. And I'm here to talk about SmackDown, the last show of the week. So I actually get to relax. Play about three hours of video games. Get some sleep. And tranquilo for the weekend because, well, there's no wrestling going on. I'd like to thank first everyone that has either comment, subscribed, or has chatted with me on Discord. So let me get some business done first. Tim! You keep on changing your name, but it's the same thing. But therefore, it's a new name. Unfortunately, you're just going to get that six count. And that means you're only four more seconds away from being counted out. Eventually, because I recognize what your little YouTube symbol is, eventually I will be giving you a new one. Eventually, I have to raise the volume on this microphone because it's just weird. But that's a whole other technical issue. Let's see here. Patrick YMW, you are a master of the air guitar.
Vince's penis. You're back again? Wait, you're still carrying that briefcase boombox. Dan Halen! You, sir, can crawl out of here. See here. Massey, Massey, 92. You always win by dirty pin. And let's see here. There's one more. Yes, because I think all those people responded. Um, Nikki Cross is way too hyper. I wanted to know what she was on. Because whatever she was on, I want to double. Or at least I would want to double once once over. And then... Dragoon Mark! You know, sir, Jordan has back. Oh my god. Becky, look at her butt. Wow. I like big butts and I cannot lie. What that was a response to, I know he said something directly to me. So therefore, he gets a shout out. Again, if you would like your own video, thank you. You can always email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. List a comment in the videos. Subscribe, because I think sometimes I do see who subscribes. In fact, I should check my Gmail eventually one day. I should actually check my Gmail more, more frequently than I should. It's just that on Gmail, it's generally bad stuff that comes up. Although I am... Today is the 27th. I only have... One, two, three, four, five... Six. Eight more days left on suspension. <laughs> and then, yes, I am unleashed again by YouTube to live stream. And, I'll, and I will be live streaming definitely for the second day of WrestleMania. I'm not too sure if I can do it for the first day. I don't see Gmail. I don't see my Gmail in a long time. Let's see here if anyone's here. What? Copyright claim was created. What the heck was this about? Oh, wow. I actually didn't realize that was going to be that. Shoot. Dun, 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 dun. I have to be careful about that. Guessing game. Wow. I have to find safe music. That was the 14th. Wow. I have to have a friend create some music for me. That's okay. That's neither here nor there. I'll, I'll text her later. Um, but I'm here to talk about some SmackDown. Um, SmackDown started off with, with uh, the Romulan villain and Sasha Banks. I'm uh, Sasha Bosch. I'm sorry. Wait a second. I'm talking about Bailey and Sasha Banks cut a promo. Uh, Lacey Evans comes out and says, "Now nah, I'm better." I do like Sasha Bosch is saying, M "Mommy, you always lose. That's always funny. That is funny." Well, you sh although Sasha Bosch, you shouldn't be touching your face. During the time of coronavirus. I wonder if... Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Um, well, I'll say it after I talk about this. And then Naomi came out. Uh, Tamina came out. Tamina beats up everyone. Along with Bailey and Sasha Banks. Except for Bailey and Sasha Banks are terrified of Tamina. Maybe they'll pull the belt on Tamina? 
That would be different. Oh, I know. I'll get this off my chest. But I know people have been saying there is a stimulus package that's going out that's been passed. I think they're mailing that April 6th. I've already applied for three more jobs. And Saturdays, I have to start writing down these jobs. So I can report them for Monday when I file for my unemployment. But if YouTube wants to make it any easier on YouTube creators, such as myself, as a very niche audience, they should just say, we're monetizing everyone. So YouTube out there, just start monetizing everyone. Make us happy. This way I can swim in a bed full of pennies like Scrooge McDuck swims in dollar coins. Yep, so I can have fat stacks of $5 bills. Because <laughs> that's probably the highest amount I'd get from, from my content. But enough about that. So there's that. To th thank YouTube for providing me my little say, I guess. They're probably saying, this guy's never being monetized. Put an X to his name. So in the first real match we have, we had Drew Gulak taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. This was a near certainty because if Drew Gulak won, Daniel Bryan gets a shot at the Intercontinental Championship. Oh my crazy. And I will give it we'll give SmackDown some credit. They're not doing what Raw did, which is to have the pro commentators do it. But they're having the wrestlers do the commentary. It makes it feel like there's more of an ambiance. There's a little more pizzazz to the shows versus because now they're just full empty. There's not even empty chairs. There's like tarps. Either tarps or no chairs whatsoever. And I think it's a different part of the performance center too. And or if it's in Orlando or if it's up in Stanford, Connecticut. So, at least the wrestlers themselves, and I'll, oh, trust me, I'm going to get into that more. But Sami Zayn's on commentary. Again, he just likes to yell at the ref. That's what he should be doing. Again, people do yell at referees all the time. Hey, ref, you effed up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ten. 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 Um, so with that, it was pretty good. Uh, Shinsuke again. He's a... He, just, he is, of course, the king of strong style, better striker. He gets the better of Drew to begin with. Drew eventually does make the smart comeback. Uh, he They wind up wrestling on the outside because Cesaro first dragged Shinsuke Nakamura. They allow the, he allows them to try and Quilo for a little bit. Uh, Drew Gulak goes outside. Then Shinsuke Nakamura beats him up a little bit, throws him in. Of course, you always want to be the first person in the ring for they have the high ground. I guess, whatever that means. Although whenever I have the high ground in the Witcher, I always get beat up at the legs. I don't know. Um, so then Shinsuke Nakamura gets caught going on rope, ropes. Then there's multiple dragon crew screw leg whips while Shinsuke Nakamura's in the rope. That has to hurt. Uh, then Drew McIntyre's, I'm sorry, Drew Kulak starts to get set up. For the, oh, I don't know what he's. Saying. I'll say it in a second. Uh, he gets set up for the Kinshasa. Daniel Bryan pulled him on what out of the way. Shinsuke falls on his back after hitting the buckle. He gets stuck in the alligator clutch. Drew Gulak. Yes, yes, yes. Gets the victory in a cheeseburger match. And he and this allows no, I don't want to do that. And this allows Daniel Bryan to go on to later the night, <laughs> go to WrestleMania and face Sami Zayn. This is probably the next to held had melt match. Well, no, not really, but yep, I I remember what it was. I remember. So the first bunch of people, they were just telling me what Nikki Cross was on, which is always entertaining to see. Uh, Dragoons, Mark, 
Actually, no, I don't think it's broken 90 yet. It's gotten close. Trust me, I'll know when it's 90 because at 90 degrees, this air conditioner goes on. Can't see it because I just have the fan on and the windows open. Probably, I don't know if I want to tempt fate in, in May. But I know in May I'm getting a little mini projector. And I'm going to set up a white sheet over the doors there, which is the closet. And definitely I'm having a triple mania party. So I have to be good for a couple of months. That's so hard though. So so much so much easier to screw up. Um, but then we have Dolph in the equipment room. He just keeps us there to piss off Otis. And yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll see later. So so Otis, kill Otis, kill, 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 kill. I want to see Otis kill someone. That would be so cool. I would cheer for that. And then this sets up. I think I'm at match number 14 for sure. For WrestleMania, it's going to be Otis versus Dolph with a Mandy Rose on a forklift. I have no idea. We'll see. We'll get back to this, though. This is going to be interesting. And Elias is in the, the crow's nest. He does a song. He gets jumped by Baron. I'll tell you what. The WWE is taking their cues from Impact. Because as Elias fell, he had a... <laughs> Whoop! It sounded like he fell on a crash mat. Like like one of those like industrial size stunt man like air air pillow things. Cause they just went whoop. You hear that or they rated the they rated impact for their sound effects. Because it sounded like an like a sound effect from the impact, so Elias might be dead. So, and this has led to some speculation because, oh, did, 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 did. news first. Uh, Roman Reigns is not going to be facing Goldberg at WrestleMania. Um, I know, uh, I think the reason is Roman Reigns does have a compromised immune system. Uh, Ryan Satin. And the Wrestling Observer, Dave Meltzer, I think Fightful. Yeah, so that's three sources. So, so, so I'm good to say that. But those three sources, a lot better than me. Yeah, like I can report anything. Um, they reported Roman Reigns pulled out because he, he does have a compromised immune system. He is one of the higher risk, I think, individuals. You get the coronavirus. I thought I shouldn't be doing any talking. The gas prices went down, and I said, you know what? Just in case Daytona Beach does something screwy, I'm going to start to fill up my hurricane gas tanks. For 70 bucks, I got over 30... Yeah, it was over 35 gallons worth of fuel. Because so I had to fill up the truck anyway. So that was 20 gallons. Yeah, so it was probably about 35. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Because it was less than 70. Those three were five, even though I overfill it. I always overfill the truck. So, yeah, that's actually pretty good. So, dun, 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 dun. news brief is over. The ro there's going to be no Roman Reigns versus Goldberg. I hope it's not Baron Corbin versus Goldberg. Oh, wow. What a. Terrible, terrible. That would be if you thought Undertaker versus Goldberg was bad. Get someone lankier and just as big as the Undertaker against Goldberg. Uh, but this leads leads us to the next segment, which was probably the best segment of the night, thanks to one Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. 
Nikki Cross is the greatest. Nikki is the greatest. Nikki is the best. Nikki is the greatest. Nikki is the best. All right, we got Mrs. Yeah. I don't know. That might be from the Miz. I forget where I got that from. Oh well. Then Nikki is the greatest. Ah, Nikki is the best. Ah, Nikki is the greatest. Ah, Nikki is the best. Yeah. Uh, so it's Oscar taking on Alaska Bliss. And this, I'll tell you what, I probably gave him a lot higher grade than it probably should have been. It just felt like a delirious ma match. If you don't know who Delirious is, go to YouTube, look up Delirious Wrestling Match. Uh, he's a wrestler in Ring of Honor. He's been on uh, WCPW. I think he's been in New Japan. Uh, I think he he shows up randomly on Impact. Uh, he says. Ah, ah, ah. There we go. And Delirious is, was one of the best wrestlers. Again, one of his best matches. It was him and Colt Cabana. The two had no means of communication. And then he called Princess Preach is a tramp. When it was uh, Frightmare and Delirious taking on the Super Smash Brothers. That was, that's when Evil Uno was Blair Uno. But again, that was funny. 64. You 8-bit. <laughs> Sega CD. Sega CD. Uh, but again, this it felt like a delirious match because Asuka was just talking. Alexa Bliss had no clue what she ain't saying. And then Nikki Cross didn't help anything. Because Nikki Cross, Nikki Cross made this whole thing. And by the way, Nikki has those no-no yoga pants that I've seen on YouTube that, that women wear for. And I've seen those videos for in case I ever wanted to get girlfriend's yoga pants yeah that's right yeah these are those not safe for work yoga pants because yeah if you stretch certain yoga pants at certain angles it doesn't hide anything it just makes everything look like darker but you can see full butt cheek and the crack and the line right down the middle and that cute little thong that Nikki Cross wears. Oh, Killian Dane. You're my hero. You're my hero. But uh, Nikki Cross was... <laughs> was on commentary. <laughs> and obviously, just like the title says, Nikki Cross is no concept of social distancing. The first thing she did... Yeah, Alexa Bliss took off her jacket and gave it to Nikki. Nikki was so happy she put it on. She was so ecstatic. She gave Michael Cole a hug. And even Michael Cole says, Nikki, we have to practice social distancing. And Nikki's like, oh, Michael Cole, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, my best friend Alexa Bliss is there versus that evil Asuka. I'm going to sit on the table here because I don't want to sit down because the table, the chair is too low and the table's too high. I look like a little two-year-old girl in like, like grandpa's overstuffed chair. I'm gonna sit here in my tight yoga pants and show you everything. Well, not that last part. But yeah, she got on, she got on. <laughs> then she forgot she put on headphones. <laughs> you almost want to see. You almost want to see. Uh, well, during 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 a little bit of the match, I'll get into the match itself. But um, during part of the match, like. Nikki Cross almost wants to get involved. The headphones come off. Oh, I forgot I was wearing these. And you can almost see Michael Cole reach for like some tissue to kind of wipe it down. Because Nick, Nikki, Cro oh, Nikki Cross is so much fun. Uh, between Nikki Cross talking, Asuka shouting stuff in Japanese, Nikki dancing, Asuka dancing, Alexa dancing. Oh, 
This match was amazing. Uh, there was a decent back and uh, to start the match off. There was a decent back and forth with Oscar and Alexa Bliss. Um, Alexa again gets tossed into the ring post. Uh, the so strikes by Oscar. Oh, Oscar doesn't like you, but I guess Oscar likes Alexa Bliss though, because it's one of it's a very uh, Minoru Suzuki esque relationship. Whereas you can tell who Minoru Suzuki does not like, because those chops are extra heavy. That forearm shot's not pulled. Like, you can tell, like, he and Yano are best friends. Because those are, like, pillow shots he's giving Yano with his forearms. But, yeah, like, if you're, like, some some young line, though, you're, you're getting, like, like forearm on, on jaw. You're getting, like, elbow on jaw bone. Not, like, pillowy soft forearm on, like, neck and, and pulling punches. Uh, then Oscar. Oscar misses a hip attack that forces her outside. Nikki Cross wants to go out there help her friend. <laughs> help her friend. <laughs> and then she's just going crazy. Nikki was so good. Nikki really elevated this match. Uh, Nikki's like trying to cheer and stuff. She's banging on the table. It's like, it's like, come on. She's like cheering on her friend. Oscar's making fun of her. I, I, I want to be a fly on the wall with a conversation with, between Nikki Cross and Oscar. I'm pretty sure the two of them have no idea what the other's saying. Um, then, let's see, they were fighting outside the ring for a little bit. And then, hooch, there was that Oscar. Banged against the apron twice on the outside. Um, Nikki, well, I'll get to that next. But Alexa hits the DDT on Asuka. Therefore, I think the math is going to hold up. Asuka and, I don't know about Io Shirai. They might drop the titles. Io, Io just got married, so she might want some time off. Maybe Asuka can use some time off, too. Her, her, her Kanishan TV is just so funny to watch. And then Nikki just hugs everyone. Oh, Nikki. Nikki has no concept on what social distancing is, and I don't blame her. If Nikki Cross wanted to give this guy a hobo Tom a hug, I'd accept a hug too from Nikki Cross. Come here, Nikki. I want to give you a big friend hug. Because I know you have big Damo behind you, and he would rip my ears off. Then you have an Usos promo. And then. The random match of the night was Triple H versus Roman Reigns. That's probably the last time we'll see Roman Reigns for a while. That was a 2016 WrestleMania. When we come back from that, I'm not going to review that. Exactly, yeah, whatever. That was actually one of Roman Reigns' Roman Reigns' kind of worst matches because I think the pay per view. Pay per view before Triple H faced Dean Ambrose, and Triple H made Dean Ambrose look amazing. Like in this, like Triple H is like, Roman, come on, get your game on. Biatch. Then we have a Dolph and Boo Celia Deville. Think it was her. Boo! Boo! Boo Celia Deville. I'll always boo Celia Deville. Always. Even in social distancing, Sonya Deville, you get no hug from me. You get no elbow. You get boo. Deville. And then Mandy confronts Soft, like, why did you have to do that if you're our Otis? And Dolph is like, okay, I'm sorry. Then there was a Firefly Funhouse. Um, <laughs> this is fun. Obviously, the puppets can't coronavirus. Because when uh, Bray Wyatt was making his super energy drink, he would not accept the carrot because uh, it was a whole bunch of other stuff went into it, like hot sauce, courage, strength, fortitude, perseverance. And Ramblin' Rabbit goes into that drink too, no carrots. Because Ramblin' Rabbit tried to give <laughs> Bray Wyatt a carrot so that you can see John Cena. Bray Wyatt was not amused by that. He said, Rabbit goes into the take two. 
So it's going to be a Firefly Funhouse match between Bray Wyatt and John Cena. So I hope it's kind of like the Haunted House match between Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. That would be at least entertaining to watch. And then we have the New Day versus the Usos. Uh, the winner gets to face Miz and Morrison. Oh, I know what that is. That's Russo is the best. Oh, Lana is the best. Lana, number one. That's where I got it from. And Miz and Morrison were in commentary. Again, having real life commentators, just someone in addition to Michael Cole just made it better. Of course, they were going to say, Usos! A uh, very traditional wrestling match to start off. Uh, again, starts off again to the headlock. A wrestling match does not start till there's a headlock, obviously. Then again, into the ropes, the shoulder tackle, Big E gets in, the power. Then he like judo through one of the Usos. I've given up on figuring which one's Jimmy and Jay. I have no idea. Uh, at least, yeah, the guest commentary made this match more interesting. Again, Nikki Cross did like wonders for her that match. Uh, there was a double team by the Usos. Uh, Big E does a splash on the apron on one of the Usos. There was a double team by the Usos. And they tried the ooh, so champ, but then I think he realized it was like, oh shit, no one's here. So um so then he looked towards towards his, his brother, it's like, oh, okay, I'll do it. Ooh! So that was kind of lame. Uh Kofi also wound up coming down with pancakes. He threw a bunch of them at John Morrison. John Morrison obviously doesn't like carbohydrates, whereas I find carbohydrates this time you're delicious. And then there was a kick out of the SOS, and I thought, whoa, I thought that was like the most powerful pin combination since La Mahistra. I guess it's just become just like La Mahistra, though. But uh, before that, uh, I just realized that Kofi has really weak clotheslines. He doesn't even use the forearm, it's like more like the, like the part of his thumb. And then he did the, it was a flapjack, turned to a half crab by the one. Then there was some double chops, the Usos low bridge. And then and the trust fall, and then everyone on the outside. But this was the DQ finish, baby. We need some matches for this here WrestleMania that's coming up. So we're going to have match number 15. And there's going to be one more match somewhere. Because we have 16 matches, 8 matches a day. Because this is doubly so. So we have DQ finish this, this match with a tease, but with a dusty finish. Cheese burger, baby. The DQ because Miz and Morrison then dastardly heels. They beat up Usos and New Day. And then there was a breaking news. So at at WrestleMania, again, the 15th match. Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. Is going to be a triple threat between Miz and Morrison, New Day and Usos. And the best line was. You idiot, Michael Cole. Came from John Morrison. That was SmackDown. Um, so again, that was a dusty old cheeseburger. Again, I don't know, SmackDown was fairly entertaining. I'll tell you what, overall, on the whole, it was a good cheeseburger mash. But could I, again, Nikki Cross did so much just by the force of her personality to make the show so much better. Who knew? Oh, well, uh, that was that. Uh, so that's the end of the week wrestling. Um, I hope everyone is safe. I am drinking my Bengal spiced tea. You can tell because it's actually really potent stuff. Kind of looks like you can see it's almost empty. Yeah, and this SmackDown? Yeah, Cheeseburger SmackDown. So next week's going to be a little bit busier. Um, we'll see what happens. Monday's, of course, going to be Monday Night Raw. Tuesday's Impact. Wednesday, AEW. Wow, I do a show, I do a, show a day next week. Monday's Raw. Tuesday's Impact. Wednesday is AEW. Thursday's predictions. We'll definitely have Dr. Tom here. He'll probably 
we'll, we'll probably be practicing social distancing. Who knows? Um, Friday it'll be SmackDown. Saturday's WrestleMania. That that might just be a recap. Sunday is going to be a live stream of the second day of WrestleMania. So that's good. Um, other than that, everyone stay safe, stay healthy, don't panic, don't freak out. Um, have a good day. Enjoy the weekend, folks. Bye.